What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I have a review of the D-Link AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 PCIe adapter. Feature-wise, the adapter supports the latest 802.11 AX wireless standard. Whilst not Wi-Fi 6E, it's still plenty of what you'd expect for performance. However, it would have been nice to see it feature Wi-Fi 6E for its VR capabilities, but you should still be able to expect up to 2,402 megabits per second of max throughput over its 160 megahertz channel bandwidth. Nonetheless, you also have support for Bluetooth 5.1 for increased range slash performance and support for the latest WPA free wireless encryption protocol. But let's get the unboxing out of the way first. In the box, you'll find the adapter, of course, a Bluetooth header cable, which plugs into a USB header on your motherboard for Bluetooth 5.1. You'll also find a low profile bracket for small form factor builds, a powerful high gain antenna with two antennas, and lastly a quick installation guide with a CD because that's still a thing people use these days. First let's check out that antenna. What I really like about this antenna is its strong magnetized base, as it sits flat on my PC case and it's held in place without any movement whatsoever. If you prefer to have the antennas directly attached to the PCIe adapter, you can also remove the antennas from the base and do so. Nothing too special on the looks of the PCIe adapter. I honestly wish that more companies would adapt a black PCB, but I would imagine it would add to the cost of the device. Still, on the back you have your two antenna connections. So let's get set up. After installing the PCIe adapter into my PC, Windows 10 automatically detected the drivers required for it and it was up and running, including that of Bluetooth 5.1. Connecting to the D-Link XO AX5400 mesh Wi-Fi 6 router, I was notified in Windows 10 that my network was secured by the latest WPA free wireless encryption standard. Looking at the properties of the network, it shows the throughput speed of 1.2 gigabits per second. And this is where the advertising annoys me a little bit. They advertise it as 2,402 megabits per second, but really it's 1,201 megabits per second for transmitting and 1,201 megabits per second for receiving. All right, let's now talk about performance. With gigabit speeds now becoming more widely available and demands for 4K streaming over simultaneous connections, it's not unreasonable to expect fast Wi-Fi 6 speeds. However, in my testing, I wasn't really able to properly test out the true performance of this Wi-Fi 6 PCIe adapter based purely on my internet connection, which my plan caps out at around 50 megabits per second. So whilst the promise of fast Wi-Fi is available, it's really hard to do any type of performance testing without more Wi-Fi 6 devices, which I currently don't have access to. Bluetooth performance otherwise was great where even my headphones, although version 4.2, stayed connected and sounded great with no drop-in connection. That can't be said the same for my built-in Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi adapter, even with its external antennas. So what are my final thoughts? It's hard to give you my real thoughts on the performance of this Wi-Fi 6 PCIe adapter based on previous notes, but if you're someone looking to declutter, you're a gamer who wants no compromises you know, in wireless connectivity, then this could be a good option where we are starting to see the bridge between gigabit ethernet and wireless with low latency. But what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with my comments? Let me know in the comments. Full disclosure, D-Link provided me with the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 PCIe adapter for this review. However, as always, all the opinions in this video are my own and nobody saw the video before it was published. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give the video a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!